Hey, what's up, it's Aaron, and welcome back to the Cash PT Lunch Hour. Today, my special guest is me. Uh, this is just gonna be a solo episode because there's some things that I've learned over the last few months that I really wanna share with you. There's some things that have come to light as the economy is changing, as the world is changing, as business opportunities are growing and changing, and I wanna make sure that you too are aware of all the possibilities in front of you, are aware of all the tools and resources and ideas that as a physical therapist or a healthcare entrepreneur, you have at your disposal to make a massive impact in the world and continue to grow your career and grow your bank account. Because, you know, look, to be truthful, if you can't grow your bank account and you can't get around, you know, the deal with money, you're not gonna be successful and you're not gonna be able to help more people and you're just gonna be stuck stressed out. So today's episode, we're going to cover the three easy steps that you can take to create additional income online and have a massive impact, and you can probably do it in as little as 30 days. So since like most people out there right now, your career, your business has been hit by the coronavirus, even if it's just your social life, um, and if you're lucky, you know, you've had no changes, but everyone's been impacted by this. And because so many people struggle in their career to earn six figures as an employee or finally hit $8,000 or $10,000 a month as a business owner or even $20,000 a month as a business owner, I want to share with you some of the strategies we've been using in the last few months so that you too can create a major alternative stream of revenue for yourself or your business. This is something that we've been doing as the coronavirus came through and we pivoted in our business, we created um, three brand new online courses. We created three new online lead magnets. We've even done um, some other live workshops we haven't even turned into online courses yet. So we've created one for CrossFit and powerlifting, one for um, women with uh, pelvic floor dysfunction, a, we've put together a Labauer PT library. We have not put together our meditation uh, training yet. And we've created brand new lead magnets, um, a, a pelvic PT checklist, and we've used one of our courses to um, use as a lead magnet. We've also launched two different specials in an online challenge, a, a clean slate challenge, which is which between the clean slate challenge and our Corona care package, we've generated thousands of dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars and dozens and dozens of new patients and new leads for our business in just um, eight weeks. So if you're a physical therapist, one of the best ways you can help more people and also help yourself is to leverage the internet and online video so you can make money online. Like you need to be making money online. You need to have some alternative stream of revenue online, whether that's as an Amazon affiliate which you won't make that much money with, um, as an affiliate of some other product, like so maybe you can do affiliate sales through an Instagram account or through, you know, whether it's for a CBD product or, you know, Amazon, and you make a couple dollars here and there. At least you're making a couple dollars here and there and that's spending money or spending cash. But I'm talking about some kind of alternative stream that brings you hundreds if not thousands of dollars in additional income and revenue every month. Because believe it or not, right now, people are still willing to spend money to get help if it solves their problem, if it's convenient, right? If they don't have to leave their house, they can go to the internet. They can go to the internet to get a solution to their problem. I mean, everyone's doing that right now. And it's priced correctly. I mean, if people see that there's a massive value in what they're going to get in exchange for the money they're going to give you. And I'm not talking about for $20, I'm talking about thousands and that people are willing to spend thousands of dollars, 15,000, 18,000, $50,000 right now, even during an economic crisis. Because it's really no longer an option. You have to do business on the internet. You have to do business online. I created my first website back in 1995. <laughs> Many of you probably weren't even born yet or out of diapers. I built my own HTML website um, when I was in college, 
I built one for the normal, uh, the, the National Organization for the Legalization of Marijuana at Duke University, and I built one for the LGBTQ Center. It did, at that time, it wasn't it was LGBT, not LGBTQ, and um, I built those two websites and basically donated them to those two organizations. Then in 2000, no, in 1999, when I started my massage practice in San Francisco, you had to have a website then in 1999, but it was basically an online business card. And as I built my practice and I restarted my, my massage practice and then PT clinic here in North Carolina, I started using my website to generate leads and generate income online. I've been doing this for so long and I've been teaching to my private coaching clients and mastermind Members, I want to share some of these with you and exactly why, because even if you don't sell something directly online, you need to be leveraging online courses, online programs, something more than just an ebook or a checklist to get patients and prospects into your business and um, into your practice. Because it, like I said, it's, it, hasn't, it wasn't an option in San Francisco to have a website in 1999. It was a requirement if you were a business. And now it's no longer an option to sell products or services online. You have to do it. And I'm not talking about um, putting a book now button on your website and having patients schedule themselves for a PT appointment and paying $125 for it. That's not what I'm talking about. If you do that, great. We don't even do that in our clinic because that's, we're not selling a service online like that. We're doing that through conversations and that way we can charge twice as much and get you know, people through their plan of care twice as fast. And you know, we can do it in a way that's um, different. So there's different products and services you sell online or ways you sell online like webinars and video sales letters and strategy calls or total body diagnostics, you know, it directly into an online course, et cetera. Depending on the price and the service is how you wanna sell it online. The most successful physical therapy businesses and um, organizations have online programs and courses. Like the most successful physical therapists that you're gonna see today have some kind of online course and program. Yes, there are gonna be some of those that have been around forever and you might call them successful because they generate a lot of money or they have a massive organization. They're not really selling online, but even some of the big organizations you can pay for their courses online and you've been able to do that for years. And if you don't have a way for people to buy a um, service of your expertise online, you're completely missing out, even if you're just an employee or work for someone else. Okay, because it's your duty as a physical therapist and a healer to share your gifts, not just with one person at a time or you know maybe two or three people an hour. It's your duty to share your gifts with the world and it's your right to earn a fair living helping others get the result that they want and helping people right now get what they need because if you don't have enough money to live you don't have enough money to pay the bills you don't have enough money to keep the doors open how can you possibly help other people so like i said you just you have to get right with the money like if you help people if you help let's just just for instance let's say a patient comes to you and they say, hey, Dr. LeBauer, you know, I have this hip pain problem and I actually spend time to figure out what's wrong with them, asking the right questions. Um, and you can go check out one of my other episodes about the questions to ask people. And, and they come to me and they say, you know, I finally figure out, well, you know, what they have is they've, they've got a pelvic floor problem that's not allowing them to feel confident. So they don't feel confident. They feel ashamed and they're unable to have sex with their partner or even feel like they can be a good mother to their kids. So if I can tell someone, hey, look, in five to eight visits or even 10 to 12 visits, I can help you feel confident in your body, strong and successful, and a great role model with your kids. If I could help you do that, wouldn't you just part with a couple thousand dollars to get that result? Especially when for the last six months or six years, you've been to every therapist and physician and had all these procedures and other things, and everyone's told you, you're just going to have to accept that this is how, how it is. Wouldn't you, you know, part with a couple thousand dollars to be able to have sex with your partner again? I would. Wouldn't you part with a couple thousand dollars to feel confident in your body and like a good role model for your kids? 
I would. You just have to solve the right problem and create an easy way for people to work with you to get the help they need, shoot, and do it in the comfort of their own home. Because not everyone needs one-on-one -on -one physical therapy. Yes, I think it's great. But look, in the last three months, online learning and online businesses are exploding. Okay, there's a reason why Zoom, Amazon, Instacart, their businesses are taking off and businesses that rely solely on in-person contact like many PT clinics, um, who else, like restaurants and uh, what are some of these other chains like that are closing down right now? Um, who else? Like Cirque du Soleil. Like they require in-person transactions. And so they, they're closing down. But look, Disney, they require a lot of in-person transactions, but they have, um, they do a lot of movies and they've released some of these um, like sing-along mashups for kids at least recently. And some movie production companies have really said, you're the, what is the king of Staten Island. We're going to go ahead and release this on Netflix rather than waiting for theaters to open because they're willing to go online. And it still costs $20 to buy their movie and it's, or a subscription to Disney Plus, and they're generating more revenue. So like one-on-one -on -one physical therapy is dead as we know it. Like it really is. Like I sent this email out to my list the other day, and I don't mean that you shouldn't be seeing people one-on-one. -on -one because you really only can help one person an hour. Even when I was treating patients full time, if I saw 26 people a week, I was exhausted. I was tired, I was exhausted emotionally, a little emotionally drained, um, physically exhausted. I didn't wanna see more than 26 people in a week with the way that I treat them and the, the amount of effort I put into each treatment. And that's limiting. That means I can only help 26 people a week, max. It was like, maybe 20,000 people in my career, but I want to help hundreds of thousands and millions of people and hundreds of millions of people know that physical therapy is what they need to turn to when they wake up with a crick in their neck or tweak their back or, you know, they pee in their pants or whatever. I need them to know that a total body diagnostic is exactly what they need to know what's going on. And an MRI is the thing that's going to cost more, you know, cost too much money and lead them to surgery. I want them to have that expectation. So look, in reality, you can only help so many people in an hour. And yes, some people get better when it's one therapist to four in a PT mill. And yes, some people really need your one-on-one -on -one attention to get better in an hour. And yes, you can help empower so many more people through the internet and online learning um, than you could ever before in any other time in history. Just look at people like Kelly Strett and Mobility Wad, or now the, it's called the Ready State. How many people has he impacted and kept out of physical therapy or out of, the, um, out of the urgent care center? He's empowered people to take care of their own bodies. And guess what? People are mad at him. They're pissed at him. You know, what, because what is he doing? He's empowering patients. <laughs> and so many people are like, you know, are, are upset, right? Why? Because we're empowering people? Because maybe people really need a... Um, a specific alignment-based evaluation? I would say no. I say, if you can give people the empowerment to say, hey, look, try these things and if it helps, great. If it doesn't help, then you should really be seeing a physical therapist or movement specialist, right? Now I can use these online learning as, um, as almost like a lead mag to get people into our clinic. Because I can tell you what, if you're not gonna do it, I'm gonna do it or I am doing it, and it's just gonna keep growing, and the more time you wait, the less action you take on reaching people online, more people are gonna come find me, because they already are. My YouTube videos have been see seen over a million times on YouTube. We have people contacting our clinic from California, New York, Virginia, Texas, they even fly in, you know, we've had patients fly in from California to see the, their daughter in Raleigh, and drive to see us for treatment. Or um, another patient who flies in from Wisconsin to see her parents every winter and comes and sees us for two or three treatments over the two weeks that she's here. We have people drive down from Virginia, drive in from other cities and states because they're finding us online and from YouTube. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So there are only so many people you can see with your hands or you can put your hands on. 
hands-on one-on-one physical therapy is not scalable. Yes, you can hire other people. And if you own a clinic and own a business, you should hire other people to do some of that work for you because physical therapy at the end of the day, when we look at it through a lens of business, it's a highly educated and highly skilled technical job. Because that, what that does is that limits you to a finite amount of people per week that you can help. Even if let's say you have 20 physical therapists on staff, well, they're only going to see maybe 50 people each max. That's still a finite amount of, 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 of people you can help and a finite amount of money, really. So as a physical therapist or healthcare professional, or, you know, if you're listening to this episode or podcast and you're any, you have, you're in any other profession, you have gifts and expertise and knowledge that needs to be shared. It needs to be shared because you can't reach enough people alone. You can't reach enough people in your town, you can't enough reach enough people in the world. You can't do it alone by yourself. You need help. You need other people to help share your message. You need other, other people to help um, amplify your message and teach you the skills to amplify your message and reach more people. And that's why to thrive in this new economy and this new way forward of your business, you have to have an online course. You have to have an online course to make money and help people online. And what does that look like? That looks like you need to be able to sell something for... $20 or $2,000 or anywhere in between online, enroll people into some kind of course that gives them more value and education and knowledge and expertise. So they learn more about their body and they know who to turn to when they need even more help. Maybe you don't even sell your online course, but you use it as a lead magnet to fill up your business. I mean, that's a great reason to have an online course. You can do it if you have clinics and you see patients one-on-one, -on -one, or even if you see multiple people an hour, or you can even do it if you work somewhere and you're a traveling therapist or home health therapist, or you work in an outpatient orthopedics you know, clinic, or maybe you're like a sports physical therapist and you actually travel with a team. You need to have an online course because your expertise and knowledge is so powerful, you should not keep it to yourself. And that's why... I started this podcast and that's why I started my co coaching and consulting business because I knew the things I had in my head, I didn't want to keep myself. I didn't start this intentionally to make money. I started it by sharing what I know with other people and you need to do the same. Now, if you found yourself not wanting to open up a clinic, like maybe you're listening to this, you realize like, I don't want to open a clinic or maybe now's not the right time. And you even just enjoy working as an employee. You like the fact that you can clock in and clock out and you don't have the responsibilities and you can maintain a good work-life balance and have your weekends free. The opportunity is here right now for you to generate a six-figure salary. Maybe not from one employer, but you may need to supplement it yourself. Say you're making 85000 or even 65000 somewhere else. What if you could generate 1000 or 500 1000 $2,000 every month by putting in a few hours on the weekend, a couple hours in the morning, here and there to set up an online course, set up a system to get people in it month after month. Could you be able to pay off your student loans without eating rice aroni and tofu every day? <laughs> That's what I had to do when I was racing bikes and I was poor living in San Francisco is we didn't buy meat. We ate tofu. I was vegetarian because it was cheap. <laughs> the most expensive meals I had were $5 burritos they were actually 385 when I moved to San Francisco in uh, 1999 or two, in 2000 is when I moved from Berkeley to San Francisco. They were 385, and in 2000 they went up. You could still get a burrito and a beer for five dollars, but it was five dollars and change or something like that. If you're an employee and you have no intention of starting a clinic or a practice, even because it's expensive or you just don't want to, you need a side hustle. You need a side hustle, whether that's consulting for some medical uh, device business for $200 an hour, a couple hours a month, or selling an online course. If you're consulting for someone else, that's still one-on-one. -on -one. That's still one-on-one. -on -one. It's good money, but it's not one-to-many. Maybe you're helping them reach many people, and, and that's the way you can amplify their message. But if you're helping them reach many people, you need to be charging even more. But you really need a side hustle that should be bringing in about $500 a month. And how do you do that? That's 10 people into a $47 course a month. Or that's 
three people into a $175 course a month or even $200. You know, let's say $100, that's five people a month into some kind of online program where they get a course that has all the resources they need and you plan out their workouts for the month or their corrective exercises for the month, right? Or let's say $10,000. Could you get 10 private coaching clients at $1,000 a piece where you meet with them twice a week or you meet with all of them once a week on Zoom and you put them through an online course? How would that significantly impact your career and your future? How would that impact your ability to pay down your loans or go on vacation or take time off or negotiate a higher salary at your job? Because, you know, if they say no, you can just stop and put effort and money and you've got your expenses taken care of by your side hustle. You can then leverage your side hustle to get a better paying job. Can you imagine how that could change your life? So here's the three easy steps to creating additional online income that you can take right now and how to build an online course and reach massive amount of people. Find the problem people want solved. Figure that out. Find the problem people want solved. How do you do that? You got to ask, listen, and observe and test. Find the problem people want solved. The bigger the problem you can solve, the more money people are willing to part with. I mean, it's just, it's a known fact. The bigger the problem you can solve, the more money people are willing to part with. Okay, like, all right, I want a hamburger. I want it quick. It's not a big problem because it tastes like crap, so I can go to McDonald's and get one for 99 cents. But man, I want a healthy hamburger that's clean. You know, the french fries are cut that same day. I'm gonna go to Five Guys and pay $10 for the hamburger. I mean, they're both hamburgers, right? I, I've got a knee problem. Let's just relate it back to physical therapy. I got a knee problem. My doctor, in air quotes, because Aaron's a doctor, my doctor, the physician, told me I need, need the physical therapy three days a week for six weeks to rehab from the uh, procedure he just did where he cleaned out the bone on bone in my knee. And, you know, I don't really know why. And it's just to rehab my knee and whatnot. I'm barely willing to part with my copay of $50 three times a week. But if I could help you move your knee better, run again when everyone told you it wasn't possible, you should never run again because it damages your knees. Not just because running is the goal, but because running is your stress outlet. And by having a stress outlet, you feel calm and focused at home and you can be a good father to your kids and you feel strong and confident in your body, and now you can focus at work. If I can help you do that, you'd probably part with a couple thousand dollars because it's worth it to you, right? If I can relate it back to your family. Now, why would someone pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for a business coach? Well, if I can help you earn seven figures or see how you can scale your time so you can spend 82 days out of town with your family like I did in 2019, how much would you pay to be able to do that without losing a dime and actually earning more money? Take more time off, earn more money. Like, what would that be worth to you? Step number two, create the program they want. You're smart. <laughs> Don't go build something and then think people need it and try to sell them what you think they need. I mean, clearly, you know what they need. It's kind of like the time I was, uh, I was commuting to work in San Francisco. This is... I think before I was a bike messenger, but it may have been the same time. I was commuting down Market Street and I saw a woman riding down beside me and we were hitting every stoplight together and she was struggling to get on her bike and get her, her feet on the pedals and everything. And I rolled up to her one stoplight finally and I was just like, I was like, hey, you know, it, it seems like you're struggling. Maybe, maybe you should lower your seat. You know, it'd probably your bike would fit you better. And she like blew up at me. <laughs> it's like, I can do this. This is how my boyfriend set up my bike and blah, blah, blah. Clearly I was mansplaining or, you know, whatever to her. The term didn't exist back then and I was 24. I was just trying to be helpful. But looking back, what I realized is she didn't want help. Even though I knew what she needed, having been basically a semi-pro cyclist, a bike messenger. I've been riding bikes since I was, uh, racing bikes since I was 17. Um, she didn't want my help. And she got mad at me. 
Okay, I don't want people getting mad at me. So I knew what she needed, but that's not what she wanted. So what you have to do is you have to create a program that your audience wants. Because <laughs> you need to you know, basically sell them what they want and give them what they need. Same thing with physical therapy. Then what you need to do is once you know the problem they want solved, that you're an expert in and you would enjoy teaching, you create the program that they want, not the one that you think they, they should have. You create it the way they want it. I'm not let, saying let them dictate how you solve their problem, but you need to create a program that's attractive to them that when they read it, they go, he knows or she knows exactly what my problem is. I'm going to buy that no matter what it costs. Then you have to enroll them in the program. You have to know how to sell your program. You have to know how to get them into the program. Once you can get comfortable with the sales and asking for money, game over. Like, don't, like not game over for you, but game over for them. Like you're gonna start knocking people off, like getting people into your course left and right because you are listening to them, you're hearing them, you're giving them what they want, you're delivering results, and you can enroll them in your program. You have to have a, some kind of sales process to get people in your program. You just can't put a program link up on your website and expect people to enroll in it. You just can't do that. And as much marketing as you could do or as big as you can grow your Instagram, if you don't know how to sell your program and price it correctly, you're not gonna enroll nearly as many people into it as you think you would. And if you're just getting started and you, you don't know how to do any of these three steps, you're gonna struggle and think online courses aren't for me. I got one started, it's doing so-so. Well, it's probably because you missed one of these steps. So if you're ready to learn the proven formula to launch an online course and make more money in just 30 days, I want you to pay attention to this next part. Um, because you know it's, it's all about teaching what you already know and love to do to help thousands more people, even millions more people, and make even more money. This could be just to replace your current income because you've been furloughed, you need some extra cash, or you want to create an additional stream of revenue. Like I've got multiple streams of revenue, more than I can count on one hand. You want to impact thousands more people because you know you just can't help everyone one-on-one. -on -one. Or you want to just start something as a side hustle to finally take home six figures or pay off your school loans. And this is your opportunity, even if you've already created an online course, maybe it's not selling well or you know selling like you expect, or you're only charging 40 bucks, like you got hundreds of thousands of followers, but your course is only 40 bucks. And you can get people in there, but not as many people are getting in there as you want, or you're not even earning a dollar per follower. And you finally want to make 10,000 online or double what you're making online. Like some of my mastermind students, um, even Jess Jenny is one of my mastermind students who had a successful business online. We started working together and then she made 20,000 in a week. Or Alexis Sams had a successful uh, cash practice as well as she was traveling every weekend or three weekends out of the month to teach dance medicine workshops to um, other dance professionals and do private training sessions and therapy sessions with um, professional dancers. Coronavirus came along and we quickly pivoted that to online and she generated 8,000 in her first launch and 13,000 in her second launch and along the way generated thousands of new leads through our social media strategy. So over the years, I've created personally dozens of online courses, and you probably are part of one or two of them. And you know, I've personally helped other entrepreneurs, um, more people than just um, Alexis and, and Jess, uh, launch the online business and, and build their business to six figures and beyond. And I would love to help you do the same. I've taken one of my courses and <clears throat> put thousands of people through it and generated millions of dollars in online course sales. And I only tell you this to know, to like impress upon you that it's absolutely possible for you. When I first started my online course was thinking about launching the Cash PD Blueprint, I didn't really think anyone wanted to buy it. But then I started working with a business coach, John Schumacher, and he guided me through the launch process. And we surveyed my audience and we put together a five-day email launch and through the pro pro course of that five-day email launch, I made $5,000 in the initial launch of that program. And over the years, we've enrolled thousands of, hundreds and thousands of people through that program to start businesses and cash practices. And I've launched other courses that are 
selling for two thousand and twenty five hundred and fifteen hundred dollars each respectively so i want to take this opportunity to give you the online business success formula i just want to share it with you like like i said i started this business not intending to launch an online course and make a shitload of money doing it and make it my full-time thing and I did it because I just wanted to share what I know. So what I want to do is share what I've learned about building an online business with you. And if that's okay with you, I'm going to tell you how um, you can get that formula from me in just a second. Because I want to make it easy. And I know like the whole coronavirus thing right now has people scattered. You know, it's it's got people tight on finances. So right now, it we're launching the Income Impact Academy. It's a 30-day program. It's gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step strategy to launching an online course and making more money in just 30 days. And the early bird spots are available right now, but it's filling up, so you're gonna to need to take action quick. And you may not even know what you're gonna like teach. You're like, I don't even know what I would teach. Well, let me tell you this. I'm gonna guide you through that process because it's not about you thinking up what you're gonna teach. It's about you listening, like I said before, and figuring out what it is people want to learn from you. And so that you don't miss out, we're going to share this formula with you. And we've made it crazy affordable so you can also build an additional stream of online revenue. You can launch an online course or take your current course and 10 exit in just 30 days so you can thrive in 2020 and beyond. If you're ready right now to make a massive impact online, and a massive impact in your bank account and in your career and you're passionate about physical therapy you're passionate about helping people all you got to do is go to incomeimpactacademy.com and you can get all the details that's i-n-c-o-m-i-m-p-a-c-t-a-c-a-d-e-m-y incomeimpactacademy.com you can get all the details don't let this opportunity pass you by this opportunity to get into this program and work with me for 30 days is never going to be this good and the investment is never going to be this low again. And if you want to work together with me to create even more income, revenue, impact online and launch an online business course or program in the next 30 days, I would love to help you out. All you got to do is go to IncomeImpactAcademy.com right now, check out all the details. I'll put the link in the show notes below or if you're listening to this when you're driving and you're like, well, I can't remember that, can't write it down, just go to Aaron LeBauer on Instagram, click the link in my bio and there'll be a link there with all the details and you're gonna grab a seat in the academy and as soon as you decide to move forward with that, I'm gonna send you the trainings and teach you exactly what to launch, how to launch it in the most successful way and ensure your success in your career in this profession long-term so together we can help 100 million people avoid unnecessary surgery. Fair enough? I hope you got something insightful out of this program today. I hope you learned something. I would love to know what it is you learned or your big takeaway or what your insight was. So even if you're like, I'm not going to do an online course right now, this doesn't sound like something I want to do. I would love it if you could take a screenshot of this, you know, like on your phone or take a picture of what you're listening to and throw it up on Instagram as an Instagram story, tag me and just type in like your big insight. And I would love to shout you out, reshare you, and even just see the impact that this has made for you. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next episode.